Mr. B and Kai continue their efforts to be Shogun. Let's rejoin them now as Mr. B takes 88 of his trusted samurai against 75 of Lord Mori's forces. Attack! I've got 48 archers and 40 men, and there's a load of water over there. Oh, and two houses. Mm, two little looks. Right, where are the enemy? No idea. Let's just go. This is just going to be a full on attack. Full frontal attack. You're heading back with the minutes. Maybe the trees. The trees are silly. No, they're not there. That's a house. Yeah, grey on the map is a house. We're going to be down here somewhere. But we've got, we've got on the high land. There they are. No, that's the trees. <laughs> Hill. What have they got? They've got 60 semi arches and 15 Yashie Adigani. Is that what they got? They literally just got the two. In which case, we're just going to go one and two, and we're just going to attack them. Get the archers on them. Get the guys on them. Get the archers in this formation. Oh, that's a pain. That's 15. So I can now fight this guy easily. Confidence in the ranks. Our first defeat. Mm -hmm. uh, 112 versus 180, and it's on a river. And we call off that attack. It's not a problem. We've flushed out his army. True. Yeah. So we're going with the full force now. Uh, I wouldn't because obviously they'll move, they'll just move straight yeah. in. Yeah. Mm, we need our reinforcements. Yeah, you're gonna need some. Yeah. Okay. It's not a disaster. I'm going to leave them there because once that port comes in, I can just shuffle it. I mean, you've already so. got it, haven't you? No, because they've still controlled the castle, so they still control the port. Can they try, Fact, try to move them again? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can. Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, boom. Right. Okay. I think we'll just wait for these reinforcements to come mm -hmm. on. How's the uh, Ismo 85%? We're just going to go with the low for a little bit. We don't want any rebellions. They're not attacking, that's good. Yes, I don't think they'd get... They'd get no, no. Another child. Another child? Jesus, putting it about a bit, John. Child. Right. Once that falls, we will then just unleash these guys on, on the rest. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also be good, it's also a good idea to see what 
Mori is actually yeah, going to do. Oh, uh, they've got the most loyal population. That probably means they've got the smallest territory left. Right. Uh, oh, it's finally fallen. Actually, what we can do is if we go to the map room, you can have a quick look. It gives you a bit of a, a view of what's going on. When it loads, it takes longer to load than the battle. Uh, so we can see Mori's not out yet. He's got this whole area here. He's got half the island. Yeah. He's got that little island of Waji. And he's, he's not out. He's got this whole region here. It's going to be difficult. We need to pin him down. And then we need to build up some forces here as well. So we yeah. can come across here to take this island as well. But we need to make sure we're strong all the way across there. Because then uh, Lord Odda, the yellows, will come back at us. We've got to be ready for that. So there's a lot to do. How many years have we been playing? Uh, we are at... I want to say 1535. Oh, we're there. Yeah. Do you want to take over? No, I'm alright. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You're, you're my advisor, is that right? Yeah. You're not, he's not listening to. He's not listening to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't. I'm going to go I full didn't force. Listen to you. That's why I lost the battle. Right, we're going to go into the battle now because I've got this whole army here. So, oh, we've got castles being built, so we've got yeah. money in the bank. Um, don't need a port there anymore, we'll get the armory. Yeah, uh, armory and the sword dojo. No, the sword dojo yeah. first, then the armory. And what have we got here? Oh, no, hang on, because that's the small castle. Oh, you mine. built that one, one of mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we've got spear dojo and, ar and sword dojo, I think, so we've got lots of arches. So you've got nothing going on in there? In the uh, castle, they are it? building the castle, and then oh, um, once the, castle, the large castle is built, the sword dojo will appear on yeah. the option, yeah. so I'm not going to cure anything there yet. Ah, what we can do is get a bit more farm going, yeah. because this area is full of money. So, let's do that. Ooh, the rebels fighting back against Lord Mori there. Uh, Three, I, want to, I want to resolve the attack automatically. I think I think it's safe to automatically. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, I was looking at that. It's taking 74. Well, it's not that bad. Sometimes computers will make funny decisions. The river's always a lottery because it's, mm. it's so hard to attack across the river. Right, um, well, the obvious thing to do is that and bring them into there. Let's bring these guys into here. And have we got any other reinforcements to bring up? We have. Uh, yeah, start. it's Oh, no, we've got Yeah, you've got money in the bank. Yeah, I was going to say, you always, you always want to keep an eye on it, how big that rebel force is, because it's slowly gone down over the last couple of turns. Yes. Over on, uh, I think uh, we should go for it. Hmm. But they're fighting Lord Moy at the moment, so at exactly, the moment their yeah. attention's turned on that, so let's leave that, because yeah. at the moment they're weakening him. Uh, I'm going to hold my horse there. Until I bring those reinforcements up. Yeah. Because look, those rebels are really going for it. Okay, he's got. He's still got lots of armies in play though. How's your taxation doing? Because uh, you've taken over quite a bit. He's still 90 on low. Ninety percent. Yeah. And I'm on low. Shall we risk normal? But we are in the process of taking. Yeah, over you're taking over quite a lot. I, I, Let's keep it on low because it stops them wanting to revolt straight away. Mm. Um, I'm going to. We could go for Mimasaka and risk losing hockey. Probably afford to do both. Let's get the white men in there. Let's see what happens. I have to be careful not to get too cavalier at this stage of the game mm. because if I'm not careful, I'll crush Mori too quickly and then Odd then I'll be weak myself because I'm overstretched and then Odd will just or well, the next plan that is on is yeah. will just come back at me. You gotta be very careful how you do it. Ooh, four, three, nice. seven. Let's, uh, let's get yeah, you're gonna have to yeah. um, do it the manual. Do a good manual battle. Light rain, that's what we live for. Right, I need to get on top of a hill. And the um, thing is, I could get on top of the wrong hill. And you're attacking? Yeah. Yeah, so. But you never want to attack up a valley. No. I'm going to yeah, take is... a chance and just get the whole army on top of this hill because otherwise, if they suddenly came on me... Um, 
That said, I don't want to be climbing mountains all day. Where are they? They are all over here. Yeah, we're going to get up this hill. This hill's right in front of us. And once we're on top, we're safer. I think, yeah, a steady canter up the top of that hill. There we go. And, oh, look, they're there. So that was a good move. So if I come up this valley here, they'd have had me. As it is, I can carry on. This oh, map right, is yeah. particularly bad it, it, for it, like up and up and down, you see. Yeah. You'll tire them out before they get into uh, the battle. Although they've all got good, these symbols here, they've all got good. Uh, they've got good, um, what's the word? Uh, enthusiasm. Morale, that's the word, enthusiasm. They're very enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> and the enemies the, really... <laughs> they love their killing, they do. Really well. Get in the bin. Job done. Although, to be fair, we haven't actually killed anybody. Yeah, so massive all we're actually doing is done. pushing the forces together. <laughs> However, every time we seize the territory, they lose income and they lose facilities. Mm. Decent to good one. Um, we build up the Noble Lord! Excellent! The province has a fine natural harbour. So it's cheaper to build a port. Let's get a castle in and we can build that port up. Uh, so we're now quite thinly stretched. And yeah, you are. Them in there and then up, them up there. And look at that size, size of force in Harima. That's... Yeah, that's... Not good. We need reinforcements. And we have none. I mean, could you, you could possibly consider moving your chaps out of the top there now? Um... Uh, I mean, I, I think it's unlikely you're going to get any massive uprisings. I, for, for the cost of three guys, yeah, four guys, four guys. I just leave them there because you never know what's going to happen. Um, True. What I might do is just move them over here so they're sort of available because then they could pop over here. They mm. can use the ports, so they're now on a port. That's probably a better position for them. Probably ought to build a port here because then we can start moving more quickly. Oh, no. no. So I'm gonna move. Oh look, Mori's attacked. Right, forget. Um, ah. Right. Let's hold horses on that port because the front line has suddenly moved to us. Okay, so maybe reconsider that move into there then, because obviously. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Straight in. Yeah, but then I would have moved him back into. Um, just in case. Yeah. Covers the region. Yeah. So. Oh, what's he doing? It's just alright, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Learning the lay of the land. Right, something's going to come off here quite quickly. We're going to get attacked. Mori's still got this whole area here. This is all Mori. And then over here is... Over Plus, we've not, we've not seen Mori yet. And we're not allied to Alder, so he could just come straight at us. Mm. Risky. That's why it's called Total War. Still avoiding. Oh no, he's there. there. Mori's there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Four. Oh gosh. Oh, to eight hundred. <laughs> and. Mm, mm. <laughs> this is what you play Shogun Total War for. Right. Look at the hills. We can use these lovely mounds. Right, okay, we need to choose the perfect mound to sit the top. That's, that's the back of the map. Yeah, we want to get as close to the back as we can because then they can't outflank us. True. I'm thinking this one looks lovely and round. If they come up there, get them. Yeah. The only yeah. way they can do it here is come across this really awkward one. This is the defensive position. So basically, we. Um, 
think at the start we'll just have our samurai at the back because they can basically just cut through the lines mm. and that will keep them out of archery fire and we'll just have all our archers on the ridge of the hill and we'll nail them I always click behind because otherwise you end up yeah. if you just do this for example they end up in a random position yeah. so I always click at the back and then basically um, try and position them as I want them something like that that's a pretty good defensive position I think those samurai units I'm just going to move these guys a bit forward those samurai units here my three samurai well, basically, whatever direction the enemy comes in, they will race to that position. Begin battle. We can't lose this. Well, we can because they've got twice as many men. That is the small sticking point here. I think we're in as good a position here as we can be. Look, the Hulk. This is what happens when you play on normal difficulty. They just make it too easy. <laughs> however, there are still a lot of them. Yeah, there's quite uh, a lot However, of them. look at that. Half their units are Ashigaru. They yeah. have very few samurai. Oh no, they've got a few some samurai. They've got about six lots of Ashigaru. They will run and they will be chopped up to pieces. Right, we need to focus our fire. So what we're going to do is just make it nice and easy. Shall we go for loose formation? Mm. Let's see what happens. And uh, as soon as these these samurai are the targets, because the samurai are strong units. That's unit 60, down to 34. Oh, they're quite close. To <laughs> yeah, they're a lot closer than I thought they were. in on the flanks if I need to, I'll charge with the archers if I need to. What I should be doing is targeting all the archers. Yeah, yeah, you have got that, that one that is quite a lot. Well, there's only six of their, if I can get their gems. Yeah. Oh, Three. Oh, that general's really living there. Okay. Oh, they're winning. Yeah. Where did they come? Is that their generals? Oh, they, yes, yeah, their generals sort of a, a good position where. I told you we could do it. Yes. This is where they turn around and destroy me now because I just yeah. ran across the mountain after them. Uh, yeah. I have now lost control of my whole army. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, this could all go wrong, but it won't because there's a good chance of them rooting. They're just the thing is, if you do follow them, rallying. I if say. no, if you that's why you follow yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. If you follow them, they won't rally. If you don't follow them, sometimes they will. Mm. But there, yeah, they couldn't cope with that. That was that was good. That was mm. marginal though, because yeah. the, we were really thinly spread on that hilltop. No, we had a good position though. To be fair, as I was, uh, my suggestion was going to be, if you still couldn't, their general was kind of like at a good enough point on that hill where you actually could have just told the um, oh to charge him yeah the archers to charge them the thing is if you're on a steep enough slope the mm. archers can charge and do well yeah because they've got they do have swords but they're quite small ones mm. um, but you need to be on a really you need to have real height advantage to do that so that was good so we lost um, 68 men it was 326 men nice. so that's hit more hard that's good because that that really knocks him back what a battle but will Mr. B and Kai's luck hold out? Find out on our next video. Thanks for checking out this, my first proper Let's Play with help from Mr. B from Mr. B's ukulele channel. Please check out his channel, there's a link in the description down below. This video is done in support of Richard York's Wargaming, where no war game remains unplayed. Please check him out here on YouTube and consider supporting him over on Patreon.
If indeed you liked this Let's Play and would like to see me do more, please by all means hit the old like button, and if you'd like to see more of this mush, consider checking out the rest of the channel. I upload videos every Wednesday at 6pm British Standard Time, and if you enjoyed them, why not consider subscribing? As always, ladles and jelly spoons, if you've made it to this part of the video, thanks very much for watching.